Hey y'all, let's go right out of here. Texas lasagna. Y'all stick around. Lone Star Rider on his motorcycle. Raising money, making friends, seeing the country into it. Lone Star Rider. Alright guys, I'm making some Texas lasagna for two of my favorite people, Doug and Tracy. I used to make this back in the fire station days. I made it up, and I know there's tons of other recipes out there, but this is my recipe. And sometimes I change it, <laughs> so like I'm kind of doing now. This one's not going to be as spicy. The anyway, way you take some uh, ground hamburger meat and you cook it up. And we're going to add some taco sauce into this. This one is going to be McCormick's. I greased the pan with Pam. The other thing is, is I got Monterey Jack and some sharp cheddar. Got some sauce here. Coney sauce. Got some Philadelphia cheese. Can of corn. Doug's getting some uh, diced tomatoes. And we got corn tortillas here. You can do this with flour tortillas, but I found that the corn tortillas work better. And the walnuts do not go in here. <laughs> and then we put it all in this pan, layer it like you would a lasagna, and then you put it in the oven at 350 degrees for, I forgot, about 30 or 45 minutes. Alright. Now the package says that you put the uh, taco sauce in after you brown all this. I kind of like just put it in there sooner than that. This pan makes it look like there's not a whole lot of uh, meat in there, but there is. like tacos. Alright, that ought to be good enough for right now. Time for uh, mixing up the cream cheese and then grating this cheese. Alright, putting this whole thing of cream cheese in here because we're going to use it. And that gets mixed up with the, the salsa. You gotta make sure this is all mixed up really thorough. Get all the chunks out. I'm sure there's an easy way to do this, but I don't know. And we use the rest of this stuff to layer on the top as this goes in the middle. It's basically kind of replacing the uh, ricotta cheese. All right. All right, this is looking all good. Did forget one thing. Need to add two eggs in here. for the cheese. Now that we got all the uh, Monterey Jack shredded, we're going to shred the cheddar. Now 
but Doug got me some diced tomatoes I can add it to the meat here. We're going to add some tomato sauce in here. Now, if you like this stuff spicy, um, I like it a little spicy, not a lot, but I'll throw in a few jalapenos to do that. But Doug and Tracy like it mild, so I'm not making this spicy at all. We've got both cheeses. We got our uh, Philadelphia cheese mixed up with the Connie. We need to cut the uh, tortillas into strips, the corn tortillas. You can use the yellow corn tortillas, or you can use the white corn tortillas, or you can use flour tortillas. I like to put the corn, uh, white corn tortillas in there. Uh, yeah. This is what you replace with the noodles. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put a layer of the um, meat sauce. And spread this out thin. All right, that looks good. Now we're gonna put a layer of the corn tortilla. And then you just lay these out nice and neat. Cover the whole pan. Alright. Now we're gonna put in some of the regular cheese. The cheddar cheese here. Put it out nice and thin. The rest of this cheese here will go on the top. All right, we're going to cut up some more tortillas. Should be enough. If not, we'll come back and get some more. Just enough. Now we're going to lay some of the uh, pepper jack here. And that is every bit of that paper, pepper jack is in we got some of the, the cream cheese and the salsa still here, so we're gonna go ahead and pour that on here. Just get next thing is we're gonna take salsa and pour it over the top of this, and then we're gonna put the cheddar cheese on the top. rest of that on there. We're going to put the rest of the cheddar cheese on there. And the 
the next thing I put on there is bacon. And some more shoes. <laughs> it's got a lot on here. This is what it looks like before we put it in the oven. The oven is preheated to 350 and that's what we're going to cook it. We're going to cook it for 20 to 30 minutes until or until the top is brown. And, uh, and we pull it out and we let it sit for 15 minutes because if you don't you cut it all that stuff is going to be good it's got to sit for at least 15 minutes let's see when you use these be careful of the thumb it's got to yeah I shall all right it's in the oven ready to go timer set and we're ready to go that's the mess you get afterwards <laughs> Do any cooks show that? I don't think I've seen any cooking show that shows the mess afterwards. All right, you want to get it brown on the top just like it is here. So this is ready to pull out. Kind of brown around the edges. Might let it set for another five or 10 minutes in here. Another 10 minutes and be done. Here is the finished product. A little brown on the top. Now you must let it set for around 15 minutes. Yep. That's what a Texas lasagna looks like on the plate. <laughs> right, this stuff's pretty good. Uh, I have to say so myself because I made it. <laughs> good stuff. Was it good? <laughs> They're excited. <laughs> All the ingredients and how I cook this is down in the description below. Uh, I normally don't do cooking videos, uh, but I have a couple of them, maybe just one. Now I have two. <laughs> but the other one was an apple pie. I cooked an apple pie, and you can see that link up there or down in the description below. Every once in a while I get a whim and do a video on what I'm cooking. <laughs> uh, maybe I have a few more. I've cooked uh, dehydrated food. Does that count? I don't know if that counts or not. <laughs> if y'all not subscribed to me, y'all should be. Click on that subscribe button down below and then hammer the hell out of that bell. Is that right? Hammer the hell out of that bell. And you'll get an email notification that I've uploaded a video. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Share, comment, let me know what you think. Catch y'all on the road. But the other one was us was 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 was, was uh, everyone once. Lone Star.